we go. Woo! Watch out, Guys, how cool is this? Look at this little dude. He hasn't been back to this camp in 15 years. Come on over here, honey. I'm over here. I'm right here. Listen to me. This thing is open. This guy can come right out. I don't know why you would think I would stand there. Okay, oh, he's coming over. Oh, he's going to attack the camera. Oh, God. He's going to get the camera. Look at this view, guys. I know. But this is what we got to do. Right, right there. Just don't sing. Whoa, she wants back in there. Oh, look at this, guys. There it is. Yeah. Hey, what's going on everyone? We're hanging out here at the Grunwalds and uh, today's a big day. It's been a long time coming. Cayman enclosures are done. We're gonna get, we're gonna start with the smaller species and then get the trigonatus, uh, the large trigs. So uh, this is what we're doing today. So we're gonna go get Lucifer. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's special shout out goes to Sarah and Seth Chan. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Let's see, is that Steffi there? We got big spiders. Let's see, I might get a little wet today. Usually we go in through the back. Let's see, Lucifer, if he remembers me. This guy actually lived with me early on. Oh, there he is, my little guy. Oh, that slid out. He's hissing. Yeah, Fred used to handle him quite a bit. He's hissing. Pretty tame. But then he also bit the shit out of Fred. He did bite the shit out of Fred, right? All right, everyone back up. I guess I'm going to get my boots wet. It was a love bite. Where's that tail? Hey, give me that. There we go. Get out of here. Look at that. Well nice. Done. Woo, nicely done. Yeah. All right. Yeah, good yeah. deal. Give me a hot five. Yeah. Oh, blood there yeah. goes Louis side Bye. All right. That's a dwarf caiman, guys. That's Paleosuchus palpabrosus. And um, he started out with me as a little baby. And then I gave him the Fred. Then he went to Gatorama for a little while. Then came back to Fred. And Fred handled that guy a lot. So that's why I was able to get away with doing what I did. So I'm really excited about that. And you can see that's a full grown male. How cool is that? That guy's about 15 years old, yeah. So that's that's amazing. So we'll keep him right here out of the uh, out of the heat and let's move on to next. And a lot of you guys were asking, actually Brooke and Heidi and Barry, a lot of people were asking, how's everything going? How are the animals doing? And you guys have downsized quite a bit, right? Yeah, uh, we've kind of kept it to uh, uh, manageable for us. Yep. Um, you know, my grandmother's disabled so we all kind of take turns coming over here I'm, I'm here two or three times a week Heidi comes on the weekends yeah. and uh, my dad and his wife come and help out along with my uncle too yeah. so it's kind of been and Barry yep Barry thank, you. thank <laughs> you any of the animals that were like considered prohibited like bubbles the reed tick and any of the what else was there there was the tegus the tegus yeah, yeah things like they, that. they found a new home uh all the retic all the uh, pythons they found a new home okay. um our uh, kookaburra had found a new home as yeah. well um and then along with of course our alligators and yeah. our uh and our crocodiles uh, and also yeah. and now the caiman are going today so that's all of our prohibited animals going today well in here we have the pair of juvenile trigonatus i'm gonna have mike help with these because these are not gonna be as, as chill i think we want to make this as simple and stress-free on the animals as possible okay. um, because we know that in a little while we have to get the adult trigs and I guarantee you that is going to be, uh, we're getting dirty on that one. Now so. there's a bunch of uh, common snappers in here as well. Okay, so I'll, watch my, about that. I'll watch my fingers. And so there's, there's one right going to be one. come up to you but usually he doesn't bite me. Oh, it's a turtle. Look at yeah, this yeah. guys. Look at that. I love it, man. Snapping turtles are my absolute favorite turtles. Look at this character. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you looking for a little handout? I love snapping turtles. They are the cool. Um, there's one underneath that uh, that flipped over his pond. Right yeah, here. a caiman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where's um, the other yeah, one? Right here. That? See his little bit of. You can see his little there. face. Rod, right, Mike. Yes, yeah, sir. Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh, they're no, both. There's two. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. They're a good size. I, I wouldn't grab them sitting on top of each other. Hell no. Maybe put the I know right that much. Front of them and grab his tail and might walk him right That's what I'm thinking. I might just go ahead and do that. 
let's them make it easy. that way your hands away from them. And I mean, they're not going to come out the door yeah, over here, are they? Good idea. No, they're not going to fly out. I think if he runs anywhere to the Thanks, You hear my wife, are they going to fly out? They don't got wings. No, I didn't say that they're going to fly. They're I fast, said, though. come out the door. Alright. Anything would be can amazing happen. if you got two and one, but uh Yeah, we're gonna like the two first. Can bite your you wanna do this? You want this pole? Kinda... So if you want to aim it more towards his face. Copy that. I'm You're just gonna put this out. Well, aim it towards his face. Yeah, I'm all about not bleeding today either. I hear you, dude. Alright. All right. Go ahead and roll it right. <clears throat> He's gonna go hard right. You probably right. All right, all right. Mile, mile, mile. Hold on, the range. There you go. Woo! Whoa. Hello. <laughs> that was real three dimensional. You that almost was come a over the top. So ready for that. Face. All right. I don't want you to do that. All right. Take it easy, Francis. That's his name, Francis. No, yeah, today oh. it will be. Okay, I like it. <laughs> oh. They went back quick. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and, and grab the tail. And if they bite the tip of their tail, they pull the tail. Okay, where'd the other Just one go? Just if he's bent, let go quick. Too bad Tom is in here so much. Oh man, that's a powerful little guy. All right, well now. Yeah, he's a little upset. All right, well that was a failure. Now they're in the water. <laughs> So now we need a snare pole. Now I'm going to go get a go snare Go get pole. that snare pole, buddy. That's what we probably should have done is just edit, jumped them real quick. Yeah. But I was trying, I was a little bit more hopeful that we'd just make them go in without any How kind of drama. How would you jump them when they were on top of each other? That's true, too. That, well, we'd separate them and then you could have jumped them. But these guys are true oh, armored God. beasts, okay? So they're going to have really sharp scoots, which is why we're wearing jeans. And uh, they can actually pinch you if they move their necks. They can crimp your hands. Mm because they have just incredible nuchal scoots. Uh, and that's because these guys are mostly terrestrial, believe it or not. Um, they wander around on land a lot. Their whole body is covered with osteoderms, which makes the fact, or which makes them less um, attractive to the skin trade, which is why these animals really aren't as endangered as some of the uh, alligators and caiman with nice belly scales, which don't have a lot of that bone in it or osteoderms. There you go, Michael. Y'all are terrible. <laughs> Oh, terrible. He, these things are going to come flying out. He got it. I don't know if we got a nasty Alright, good. So, do you want this? No, I mean, what do you want to do? You want me to jump it? Mm, it don't matter. Oh, just, that's the male, right? Oh, yep. that's the female. No, that's the male. The male was the bigger one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, good deal. I'm good. I like the tubes because we don't have to tape them. Yes, and this makes the release even easy. Get All right. that. We got All two right. caps and a drill right after. No blood yet. No blood yet. Uh, we ain't don't done say yet. that. <laughs> Come on, it's like a NASCAR race, man. Everybody waits for the crash. <laughs> I'm gonna fall away from home to go to the hospital, okay? <laughs> All right. Spin this guy That's out. That's mom and right Yeah, there. right there. <laughs> it's like when the cup is on the. So we edge. got that little gal that we need to go get. Uh, definitely sharp. bony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got really <laughs> sharp scoots, like I was saying. Mm -hmm. And, you know, look, they live in an area where they're a jaguar. And jaguar eat caiman. We've seen a lot of cool footage online of that. Jaguar go right in the water. Jaguar don't play that. <laughs> that reminds me of gator. Gator don't play that. Anyway, he's fishing around for the female. Let's get everybody in there. You having fun? I know you love this. <laughs> oh. We joke around a lot, but the reality is, is smaller crocodilians like caiman and any of the dwarf species, they, they have what I like to consider a Napoleonic complex. They're just, uh, they know they're little, so they are more ferocious to protect themselves. And a bite from one of these, you could, yeah, this one got you. 
you could lose a finger, possibly a hand if it did a roll. So you would definitely be mangled for sure. The thing is, is that most of the time, if an animal this size got you in this situation, it's usually a bite and release because these guys, they just want to be left alone. They're not trying to actually hurt you. Well, they're trying to hurt you. They're not trying to eat you. Yeah, we're getting ready for the net. I think we're going to go net. All right. Thanks, Barry. This is a, a Fred Grunwald original. <laughs> I don't think I anybody else. Yeah, yeah. Fred sewed this this himself. Look at head. this thing. Uh, you think he knew what he was doing? I think so. Fred knew not to get two hands on at all times. All right, man. She's right, She's right over here. Here, you, the tip of her tail. you grab this. Let's see if I can net me a caiman. Babe, I love these boots. They're waterproof, which has been nice. My honey got these for me for Christmas. It's gonna be hell out for recess right now. There we go. All right, we got a we got no a trig. Look at that. Who needs all that drama? And these trig and Otis are actually gonna go live with Miguel. Time. There we go. All right. Got it. Cool. Just a little gal. <laughs> All right, let's go. Love it. Awesome, man. Beautiful. Well, Thanks that's three that, down. Fred. Fred's still helping us up. He sure is. <laughs> that's three down and uh, two to go. And we saved the best for last because they're a little bit bigger. All right, that is the male Trigonatus. Um, you can see these guys like just jungle pools. Uh, that's how these guys live. They live in jungle pools and they're very terrestrial. They come around and walk around. So what we've built at the camp uh, is gonna suit these animals just fine. But this is a larger of the males. Oh, this is a large male. So let's see, Barry, you feel like you wanna do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go for it, man. Now there's a female in there as well. Let's go, Barry. Yeah. Now this guy. Today with his oh yeah, that's right. He's where he's dressed appropriately. Actually. Hand him right. over. Get rid of those. Drop. There you go. Drop him. Oh boy. This is the way real men do it. Barefoot. Real Florida man. Maybe I can grab. His... Well, I can't grab anything because there's a female in there. Oh, there's the female. She's popping her head up. Oh. Holy smokes, folks. Ah, fucking heavy, man. Yeah, he's a big boy. You stay back there, little girl. He's being good at the moment. Yeah, I want to Carl Ford. It would be nice. If she would back up a little bit, get a pole. Thank you. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. There she goes. We've annoyed her sufficiently enough that I think we can do this now. Right still? still right all right there. hold on hold on give me a second now i got a gator pole come on oh look at her she just don't care come on there you go there you go all right now maybe i could scoot him in scoot him scoot in scoot in scoot in oh boy all right there's his tail he flipped it I'll tell you what, Barry. Oh, wait, want me to take over and then you can film. All right. You're not dressed. Let's see what we got. No. Oh, there's something. Hold on. We'll get who we get. How's that sound? I think we got one. Scare on in there. I want you. You don't know where that mail went. It'll only hurt for a second. <laughs> there there we go. you go. That's him. It's him. Awesome. Cool. Good job. Good job. That's heavy sucker, ain't he? He is big boy. Oh yeah. Take your Ready? time. Ready? Nope. Okay. I don't know how you're gonna get him out. Woo! That's a strong animal. Yeah, this is not good. Um. Yeah, I probably should churn him. Barry, grab his mouth. Ready? What do you want to do? Go ahead. Maybe you're. 
All right, now you and I'll just swing this. Right, but yeah, go ahead and just slide the tube into his if I'm, I hope I'm holding it right. Yeah. All right. I'll lift, hold on, I'll, I don't want to get in there with him. See, what we're trying to get this boy just to back on up. There we go. Something's happening. There you go. He's working him back that way. All right. He's nice, gonna, Barry. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Hold it. Whee! Hell yeah, Barry. Watch your head. All right. Lift that on up. Beautiful. Holy smokes. That's awesome. Can you believe it? This is really good. It's almost like you guys have done this before, huh? <laughs> Twice. Well, we the net, so this is Usually new for me. Usually we got at least six beers in us, so I don't oh, like this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> You're on reverse. There you go. All right, good. We still have a young lady here who's got to come out. What do you guys think? Are they going to enjoy moving over to the camp? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, let's make sure we say thanks to the Grunwalds uh, for keeping these animals so happy and healthy. Um, while Fred's, you know, not playing around with us. Yeah. So this is um, I'm willing to give a little. This is just awesome, you know. Yeah. These animals are beautiful, and I'm. I've said it a million times. I, it's like an honor that I'm able to do this with these animals, thanks to Fred and family. We got it. We got it. We got it. You know, Fred was a smart dude. Everyone laughed when they saw this net. <laughs> I didn't laugh, I thought it was cool. It's pretty darn cool. All right. Yeah, she's a good size. She is a good size, isn't she? She's about just gonna make it in that tube. Right? You oh, think she's nice. uh, Let's do the same method. She got babies in there? I don't know. She's uh, fat and happy, as I like to call it. Woo! All right, girl, okay. Thanks. Chill out. Yeah, just pull her back. Show the back leg. Woo! Oh, okay. Watch out. Good girl. Come on. Almost in. Almost in. We could lift it up probably now. Yeah. Yeah. Holy oh, smoke. You see how athletic they are? They really give you a good fight. Holy Pick smoke. the whole net up. Yeah. All right. Good girl. Let's get this. Where's our... Uh... And that's that, folks. Holy smokes. No, we... Uh... <laughs> I'd say, to be honest, that, I mean, with the smaller size, the tubes that Mike brought down, that was really a big help. So we didn't have to tape them up. Basically, when we get home, we're just going to open these up and dump them on out in their new enclosure. We still got to go get a fly river turtle. Um, one of the fly rivers is going to come back to live at my home. Barry, thank you so much, man. That's awesome. Heidi and Brooke. Thank you to my beautiful wife for holding the camera. We're going to go ahead, we're going to grab a fly river turtle and we're going to get these animals home because we want to get them home quick because it is starting to get hot. So, okay, we'll see you guys back at the house. So long. All right, we made it home. Here we are and uh, this is awesome. So, let me show you what we did. To the enclosures we got the gates on and we're gonna unload good old lucifer first he's gonna come on out here we gotta just unlock it let me show you what i did the other day because we don't want lucifer to get in with those larger trigonatas so we built this we got a cool little jungly fence check it out it goes all the way it's dug into the ground this is going to be lucifer's enclosure of course these plants are going to grow up nice and big uh, and I may put up some shade cloth here in a week or two uh, just to be extra careful. But uh, this is it, man. Hey, hon. Yeah. Do you want to go get the Lobo? I don't know. I think no? we should wait until we after we do it. He might be a little cray cray. Yeah, show a little one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's in down below. All right. 
these guys had quite the exciting ride home. Kate doesn't approve of my driving. Well, you're just, you were just, uh, you know, going a little too fast around those turns with these poor guys in the back. I felt bad. Aww. All right, let's see. Which side do you think the head's off? Oh, uh, gosh. I hope not this side. Well, what do you do? He'll slide, out. He'll slide out either way. What are you doing? <laughs> My wife is a little, little bit nervous. Not all Yeah, nervous. not at all normal to be nervous of this. Hun, get over here so they can see this animal. Come here, on. Mike. Yeah, You're come on, Mike. There. You take those. Take that there camera. Oh, we got the tail end. We got a tail end. Let's go ahead. All right, let's point him toward the wall. Whoa! Whoa, you tough Lucifer. Oh, he can't fit through here. Good. There he is. Oh, boy. Come on, Louie. I know you're upset. Holy smokes, huh? Guys, how cool is this? Look at this little dude. That is an adult. That... It's insane that an animal that size can reproduce. That is incredible. I think my male is maybe a foot bigger. A foot bigger? Wow. Maybe a little bulkier, but it's crazy to something that big. Are down. you upset? He's not happy with the uh, excitement that he's had. I want him to obviously see the water, but he hasn't been back to this camp in 15 years. That is a 15 year old animal, man. That is so crazy. That is so nuts. Look at this guy. And I gotta tell you, I've been excited to have these Cayman back. Once this all grows in, I mean, guys, look at this. Even that little pool is gonna be so cool for him. Look at this. Got this pool. We got the wetland filter. He's gonna be able to hide. There's a log he can climb on. There's gonna be, this grass will be huge by the end of the summer. In fact, a lot of this, this um, is gonna be very, very uh, grown up here by the end of the summer. Oh yeah, you're a tough one. Oh, you're a tough one. Look at this. Come on over here, hon, look. How cool. What? She don't not, she, she does not do what I tell her. Come on over here, hon. And I'm over stay. here. Yeah. I'm right here. What do you yeah, mean? There's still a fence between her and him. Listen to me. This thing is open. This guy can come right out. I don't know why you would think I would stand there. Oh my gosh. There you go. Oh, we got Kenny there. Oh, he's coming over. Oh, he's going to attack the camera. Oh God. He's going to get the camera. Look at this view, guys. This is the craziest view I've ever gotten of a GoPro. Whoa. <laughs> How'd you like that? That was awesome. Come on, Louie. Louie Safer, come on. Lou, there's water over there, I promise. There's water over there. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's try, oh, see how fast he is? That's how fast these little dudes can be. Come on. You go this way, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I God, yep. for real? We're gonna just walk him around. He's looking for a way out, but, and you can see the water has eroded a little bit. We've got wire on the ground. So there's no way this dude can make it out. Come on. We're just gonna show him where this, where this water is. Now he's in a corner and that's never good. Come on. He got bloody teeth or something. Oh yeah, he might've. He bit the tube on the way out. Yeah, he bit the tube. So hold on, you don't wanna go this way. You don't wanna go this way, buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on now, come on now, come on. Oh, I know, I know, but this is what we gotta do. Gotta get him right, right there. There you go, that's all good. Now come on in that water. Did he get it? No, no, I dropped him. I was gonna splash some water on him because there he goes, look at this guys. There it is, yeah. The first caiman in the pond here. There you go, and he's got this whole area and he's got a little cave that he can go in there. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, we got a caiman in the creek. The first caiman is in Cayman Creek, man. What do you think, Mike? That's good. Good, right? And like I said, guys, it's all gonna grow up and shade up. He's got shade in here. 
so cool there's a nice cave right there that's awesome awesome stuff i love it look at that beauty look at that beauty and then that's nice and deep so this is more than enough pond for this guy Woo! okay that is awesome that is great stuff huh what do you guys think he does look good in there man that is awesome look at this beautiful gates he can't fit through them Whew. here he goes working hard thanks mike all right we got to get that screw going got that all right come on in come on this is awesome that should be her is it did we back her up or she no we backed her up so that'll be her. that'll be your tail Let's get it in the water. Okay. All right, here she comes. Come on around here. Here you go. <laughs> go ahead, buddy. You got it. Oh, that's a big girl. Come on. Come on, fat lady. Just don't sink. Whoa, she went back in there. Oh. She feels the water, so she knows. Oh, there you go. That's a girl. You know, she's got a little something wrong with her nictitating membrane. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, her eye's a little jacked. Yeah. Her eye's a little jacked up. See that, guys? Can you see it yet? Yeah. The white spot on it. Yeah. I don't know if that's uh, an injury or is that an infection. Most likely an old injury. Old injury, yeah. Because you got to think of that size. That's an old animal. Yeah, that's true. They don't grow quick at all. All right. Well, there she is. All right, let's get this tube out. Wow, that's so cool that she's submerged. She can submerge right in that shallow section. They've got this whole deep section. This is plenty of room for these guys. Very, very cool. All right, I'll need this. That's definitely this. This guy's big. That's what I'm saying. He's probably the biggest pair. Let's go right to that beach. Where'd she go? Right down oh, here. she's down in the water. She went right down in the deep hole. Okay. All right, Mike, would you do the honors? Oh, yeah, look at that, guys. She is right down in there. I'll tell you what, now's a good time to do this get us some underwater of this Cayman. This is awesome. See him? Oh my lord, look at that guys. Is that awesome or what? They have just such a sinister look, if you ask me. I mean, they just look bad. They're prehistoric. They are so prehistoric, definitely. All right, she's down there. Let's go ahead, see if we can get this boy right here. Come on, come on. Oh, right on the beach that Ed designed for them. Oh my gosh. This is just an amazing day here at the camp. This is a huge, huge, huge honor. There you go and there he is holy smokes that is awesome your gal's in there buddy you want you can get on in there holy smokes people Whew. that's cool that's a cool animal look at this i mean once you add the animals to an enclosure that really makes the whole place you know so that is brilliant good stuff well, so you got to think, he's probably been in that enclosure 20 years. Yeah, that's true. Come on. Go on in there. Go on in there. <laughs> I think he's uh, shocked, to be honest. He might be a little harsh, That's true, too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I like her. 
Oh, she's sleeping. That is a beautiful animal. What's nice is this ficus tree gives us nice afternoon shade. They could come over in this area. They got plenty of room to walk around. I'll plant plants over here. Uh, we got to make a cave for these guys. Holy smokes, people. This is just the most amazing situation ever. We've got beautiful Cayman now living here at the camp. I mean, it's awesome. What is he doing? Awesome. Look at the water, how it flows. All one system. Uh, so this is really nice, man. I think this is great. Come on. Come on. Oh my God, he's, he did something, but he tensed, up. he tensed up, but he don't care. All right, well, there you have it. Go ahead, get him in there, bub. He's not quite sure what is going on here. There he goes. Good job, Mikey. That's a boy. That's a boy. Look at this. Now, like I said, these animals just hang out in jungle pools and uh, this is definitely going to be a jungle pool you saw what fred had them in two of them were in that that pond for many many years uh they'll have their own personal ponds right here if they want to get away from each other they can there's visual barriers all throughout i think this is really cool and uh yeah we want to keep that friendly vibe that these two have had and the other cool thing is once all these marginal plants all these water plants around the edges really start to grow up uh, all this algae won't be able to take over like it is at the moment algae is only taken over because no other plants competing for that nutrients so these guys are going to stir it up it'll go right on into that overflow system so very cool that's it dude we did it man thank you knuckles thank you so much yes sir uh this has been a very long time coming you guys know uh fred passed away november 30th 2021 and um man i'll tell you you know just building these enclosures the gator enclosure uh which is right over there and of course um the cayman enclosure she's rubbing on him oh that's so cool let's see this is amazing. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at these lovebirds. How cool is that? She's getting a breath of air. They're gonna spend the next few weeks just getting used to this enclosure. And uh, it'll probably take you a little while for them to settle down. Uh, remember, the gators took only a day or two before they were eating. So we'll see how they do. I'll keep a good eye on them. We're about to go into summer, so it's nice and warm. I don't have to worry about any cold snaps. And uh, yeah, man, there she goes, right back down. These two are going to be very happy in this enclosure, I can tell. We finally have the Cayman here at Camp Ken. I want to thank the Grunwald family. I want to thank Kate. Um, and I want to thank Mike for coming down. Uh, I'm also really grateful that Mike is going to be taking the two other Trigonautas and housing them with his uh, collection up in South Carolina. So really excited. It was a good day. No one got hurt. The animals aren't hurt. And uh, this is just too cool. All right, everyone, let me know what you think in the comments below. Say thank you, please, for me to the Grunwald family for trusting me with these animals. And uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of these animals on the channel. So thanks so much, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.